<clears throat> Hi, welcome to Us As We Are. I'm Keegan Van Hook. Today, we're on the Southern Oregon University campus for the first day of school. It's looking a rather bit desolate around here. Not very many students have come to school this year. But nevertheless, we're going to walk around, see if we can find some students, and see what they have to say. So, come on, let's go. Cool. Uh, so to start, just introduce yourself and where you're from. Uh, I'm Nicole Johnson. I am from Ventura, California. And uh, what are you here at SOU to study? Uh, theater. I'm a theater major. Right on. Lots of theater majors here. That's how I started, actually. Um, how do you feel about the whole COVID situation and coming to school right now as a start during such sort of an odd time? Because this is very different than it's been in past years. Um, well, at first I was considering taking a gap year because, I don't know, with being you know, in a pandemic, it's a little weird. But at the same time, I knew personally that what I needed was to be out and be at school and be around people, even if that meant being six feet away from them. Mm -hmm. So for me, I just ne I knew what I needed to do and I knew that it was to move away and it was to move to college. So I didn't think a pandemic was gonna stop me with that. Uh, so what are you looking forward to this year? Like what kinds of things do you think you might do? Well, I'm hoping to meet friends. I've already met a couple. Uh, they've they've been really fun. We've been getting, you know, like all our meals together and everything and just spending time with them. I think that was a big step for me. Um, as well as like just branching out and trying to meet new people, meet new kinds of people. Also just explore Ashland because the first day I was here was actually Wednesday. I've never been to Oregon before that. So just experiencing new places and new people. Cool. So you have been out into Ashland? I have. I've been halfway through Lithia Park, and then I've been to downtown twice or three times. Restaurants are open right now. Do you think you might go to any of them? Uh, maybe not. And if I do, it will definitely be very scarcely and definitely take out. I am not risking dining in with that. For sure. So about classes, um, what kinds of classes, theater classes, are you taking right now? And are any of them in person? Um... I am taking two theater classes right now, the basic theater foundations, and then I'm also taking stage properties. Now that is a hybrid class, so one day out of the week I'm going to be spending four hours in scene shop. So I have one pers one kind of hybrid class and then all of my other classes are just online, which at least I have that one class to kind of go out and have an excuse to leave my dorm. Right on. Well, um, anything I forgot to ask about that you want to mention? Uh, no. Nothing. Thanks a lot for talking to us. Thank you. What do you think about doing your first year of college under such like strange circumstances? How does it make you feel? I mean, it's it's been a little bit sad. It makes me kind of sad, but it's always like different and like it's kind of fun in a way, I guess, that we're the first like generation, I guess, that is doing this. Um, but yeah, I think I think we'll be fine as long as like we're doing the stuff we have to do. Right on. Uh, what are you looking forward to with this year? Um, I'm looking forward to things to get better because I really want to do like, especially with the theater major, I really want to be actually be able to get like in the Black Rocks, in the auditorium, do stuff, see the lighting, all this stuff. So I really hope things get better. Are any of your classes in person right now? <clears throat> I have a stage property class in person and like we have really strict rules about it. But other than that, all my classes are online. Right on. Well, anything else you want to add? Um, nothing. Awesome. Thanks a lot for talking to us. Bye. All right, start by introducing yourself and where you're from. Hello, my name is Kai Pomerlo. I'm from San Francisco. I, tra I tra basically transferred here after wasting a bunch of my time in City College of San Francisco. And well, I just, I hope that my time at SOU can be productive, albeit the admittedly weird circumstances we're in right now. So are you worried about um, all of the students coming back with the COVID situation? Well, I mean, as long as the school can keep it under control and maybe, you know, like, Maybe, I don't know, get students tested, but that might be asking a bit much. I feel relatively comfortable with it. So you felt just like everything is chill, there haven't been too many people all congregated together? No, not really. I mean, there have been like some small group gatherings, but they frankly don't bother me that much. Right on. And what are you looking forward to with uh, this year? Um, just, you know, st studying new things. I'm especially looking forward to my creative writing class.
start, why don't you just introduce yourself, uh, where you're from, what year you are, and what you're studying. Um, my name is Marjorie Miller. I forgot the list of things you told me to do. Uh, where are you from? <laughs> uh, I'm from Forest Hill, California, which is like an hour north of Sacramento. I am going into my fourth and final year. I'm a senior. I am a double major in digital cinema and emerging media and digital arts. I'm a Pisces. Right on. So um, with this year and uh, COVID going on, it's obviously a bit of a unique situation. Uh, tell us what you think about that. Um, well, to be 100% honest, I really thought COVID was going to be over come fall. And I think I'm still trying to like settle with that realization that like it's still here and things aren't normal. And it's honestly like been really sad because it's my last year and I'm the director for the event planning involvement committee. So like I haven't got to plan like homecoming because that's canceled. And there's just like a lot of other things that are like not going to happen. And I'm feeling like very nostalgic of like everything that I'm missing. Um, so it's kind of hard to stay like positive throughout it all and part of me is like should I just like postpone a year and like come back next year and do it all um so yeah a lot of mixed feelings a lot of just like sad that I'm missing out of things and hoping that maybe by the middle of the year things go back to normal whatever normal is now so with uh it's obviously a, a significantly reduced population of students right now but with what is coming back are you at all worried about any kind of an outbreak situation because people are coming from so many different places yes to be honest i actually work for housing so i worked with move in um and just like watching all those people move in and like seeing very clearly seeing the families that like do not care about covid and weren't wearing their masks and we'd had to ask repeatedly to put them on and just like the way that the new students it's so hard because I know they want to meet everybody and I know they want to talk to everybody because like why would you move here and not have any friends but it's also just like I think it's a matter of time and not a question of if um, I do think the school though has laid out at least on my end because I work for housing they've told us the whole plan of like what happens when the thing things start to unravel uh, I think we're ready I just think again it's a question of when and not a question of if Mostly just the whole mask thing. They just don't really want to wear it in like common spaces or it's also a hard one because um, we make it so you have to wear it outdoor, but you even if you are six feet away. And so that's like one where people are like, I don't want to do that because I'm outside, which is fair. Um, so that's kind of like the main one that I'm like, that's not going to end well. And then I also am just worried about all these little freshmen like going to each other's rooms and just trying to have a good time. We'll see what happens. So on the subject of classes, what kind of classes are you taking right now? And are any of them in person? None of my classes are in person. Um, uh, they're all production classes. I have one communications class, but um, it's going to be interesting to see like what comes of it. I have like an advanced um, production design class and an editing class that are like completely remote. So I'm just not sure what exactly is going to come of that. But I think the professors are prepared for it. So. But no, I don't have any in-person classes right now. Well, anything I forgot to ask about that you wanted to mention? Please, for the love of God, SOU, fix the Wi-Fi. What's been going on with the Wi-Fi? Apparently, um, something happened like with the fires where like some company that we were using was super affected by it. Uh, and so like yesterday and today, like it's basically just been out. Um, and like I can't even get into inside SOU at all and I think other people are having that issue as well so I like for one of my classes I couldn't even get into Moodle to like get the link to join the zoom so just a great first day of classes you know gee whiz so that uh, that's a fiber optic cable that got damaged in the Phoenix and talent fire right yes yeah I think so so that could take a while to fix um, and with the classes being online if uh, internet isn't working what do you think sort of people are going to do to complete their coursework I think there's just going to be a lot of like online aside readings where it's like go find internet for a few minutes and download this stuff and then take it back and figure it out. Um, but it's also hard because there's also a large pop population of people that aren't here and so they're not dealing with that issue too. So I, I don't know what people are going to do. Hopefully be lenient. <laughs> Get All right, to begin, how about you introduce yourself, say where you're from, and uh, what year you are, and what your degree is. Uh, I'm Sophia Tribblehorn. I'm from Denver, Colorado. I'm a freshman, and I'm studying anthropology. Right on. Uh, when did you arrive here in Ashland? Uh, about a week ago. 
what do you think of it so far? It's really nice. It's, it's pretty similar to Colorado, so I like it. So pertaining to the whole COVID situation, how do you feel about sort of the difference in this year compared to other years in the past and uh, how just sort of empty it is um, for your first college experience? Uh, it's definitely been weird, a lot harder to meet people than I've expected, um, but I think the school's handling it really well and a lot of the students are like pretty good about reaching out to you, so it's been pretty okay. Cool. So like people have been sort of social distancing and wearing the masks and stuff? Yeah, for sure. Right on. What kinds of uh, guidelines does the school have in place? Um, they have, I mean, all the mask requirements, like anytime basically you're not inside your own dorm. Um, there's hand sanitizer everywhere. They're really good about like spacing out the dining hall and all that kind of stuff. Very cool. So we've heard that there's like some internet problems going on right now, um, which is obviously a problem <laughs> if you're doing an online class. Uh, have you been dealing with any of that? I have, yeah. Actually, the class I just had got canceled about halfway through because the Zoom meeting just cut out. So um, hopefully it gets fixed soon because I've had both my classes today were cut short. Gee whiz. <laughs> so on the subject of classes, what kind of classes are you taking right now? Are there any that are in person or hybrid? Um, they're all fully remote. Wow. So what do you think that's going to be like? Um, it'll definitely be interesting. It's weird because we're, I don't think they're doing Zoom meetings very often. It's all just kind of on your own time. Um, so I'll probably have to be more on top of my own work, but it should be pretty good. Sort of self-motivated? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, anything I forgot to ask about that you want to mention? Uh, not really. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks a lot for talking yeah, to us. Thanks. Well, folks, it's shaping up to be a very different, very interesting year here for Southern Oregon University. In any case, I've been Keegan Van Hook. This is us as we are, and we'll see you in the next one.